Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be analysing the physique of a mind mask from One Punch Man. I would call this kind of look like an e-boy look. So he's like very lean and toned, he has a nice jawline and hair and not massive muscles. This is I think the kind of man that teenage girls or young women are attracted to. Whereas men we tend to want to get like as big and strong and muscular as possible. And that's not what this physique is going to be about. So getting started with the analysis, he clearly has very wide shoulders which in this case comes from long collarbones, that's like just his bone structure. You can get the appearance of wide shoulders though by training rear delts and side delts and the rest of your upper back. His chest is really not massive, it's like solid, but it doesn't bulge out of his chest, it's nothing impressive. You can see from this picture, he has a really nice V taper, his lats are quite wide and he has a tiny little waist. So the V taper here is going to be very important, along with overall leanness. That V taper and leanness is going to be much more important than having massive muscles in this case. His abs are also okay, but mostly that just comes from being very lean. His arms are really nothing impressive, they're quite skinny actually. In this picture you get a glimpse of his upper traps they're decent but mostly we only really see the traps when we're looking at him from like an above angle and they're not going to be that important for this physique he has a skinny neck so really don't need to worry about that in this picture his arms look skinny to be honest his chest is pretty small his neck is skinny the reason he looks good is because of his bone structure those long collarbones and he has decent shoulders in this picture you can kind of see a nice v taper in this picture you can see he has good shoulders but his arms are fairly small i would say the triceps are more important than the biceps in this case but he doesn't have impressive forearms uh, clearly he has like no legs from this picture from this picture you can at least see his upper back is pretty good you can also see the triceps there looking decent and the V taper again is very good. So the most important parts of this physique are going to be having nice developed shoulders to get that wide appearance, a decent upper back, that's like the mid and lower traps, the rhomboids, the teres major, having wide lats to give that V taper appearance again, keeping a small waist and having decent abs. So this program is going to be pretty simple, just three days a week and going to be focusing most of the volume in these important muscle groups that I've just discussed and just doing like maintenance volume or minimal effective volume for the rest of the muscle groups, just so we don't, we're not like losing muscle size. So day one, we're starting with back, namely back thickness with the barbell row and then five sets of bench press. This is going to be like half of your chest work for the week and then cable lateral raises for the side delts which is going to be very important we're going to do a lot of side and rear delt work in this program and then barbell curls for the biceps you could superset that with the triceps push down and after that hollow body hold for the abs on day two we're going to do some heavy weighted pull-ups for the lats and then overhead press for the front delts some high rep face pulls for the rear delts and the traps and then close grip bench press for the triceps and a little bit of the chest and shoulders and then loo raises for the side delts and the rear delts and the traps actually this is a really good full range of motion of the shoulder joint and then finishing off with hanging knee raises three sets to failure and on the last day we're going to do dumbbell overhead press for the front delts again dumbbell curls for the biceps push-ups five sets to failure for the chest the triceps and the shoulders inverted rows four sets to failure for the lats and this is really good for the biceps and the forearms as well and then the last two exercises you can superset them dumbbell lateral raises for the side delts and bent over lateral raises for the rear delts i would say this is a very achievable physique certainly you could achieve this naturally in not too long a time frame because he doesn't have crazy muscle size more important is just getting very lean and developing those shoulders and the back width. If you can get very lean, you're gonna have a nice jawline, you're gonna have the abs, you're gonna have the small waist, and then you really just need to work on the shoulder size and the back width in order to get the V taper, and then you're gonna be good to go. So this was a pretty quick video, hope you enjoyed. This was in response to a request I got on one of my other videos. So if you have any other requests, anyone, let me know and I will hopefully get to your comment and make a video about the character you want to see covered. If you'd like to see a calisthenics version of this video, let me know. That's pretty achievable for this physique, I would say. If you're interested in the detailed Toji physique program, check out the link in the top of the description. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.